everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing really really well a really 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 happy new year to you and i hope you and your families are doing well and healthy at home and just keeping safe i know 2020 has been a year and a half for all of us so please take a break you know catch a breath and let's just rewind and start again uh, <laughs> So the first thing that I want to mention is not makeup related, um, it's more of skincare and I want to get this out of the way so we can then, you know, go to the, to the big story <laughs> and talk about makeup. So the first thing is this. Now this is the Olay Beauty Fluid Face and Body Moisturising Fluid, normal drying combination. This little thing has been in the market for years. My mum used to use it all the time and um, some people don't like the scent of it and I think the scent of it is what made me buy it again. It's a very grand my powdery scent and I absolutely love it. I have nearly used it all up if you can see. Um, it's a big 2ml bottle, you don't need a lot of it. It smells nice, it keeps your skin hydrated and yeah, I mean guys, come on. If you are looking for, you know, a standard, normal ordinary moisturizer for your face then please check this out there's a reason why this was the best seller and this is a reason why people it's still in the market and you know it's really cheap as well so please take a look at this if you can now let's talk about makeup this is what everyone's here for let's be honest <laughs> so the first thing um i think i will start off with primer heal out one step primer it's it's a very peculiar primer. It's skin tone correcting and brightening primer. It comes in a pump like this um, and it has like a swirly colored thing here. I mean, it's thick and it's moisturizing. I have it on my face at the moment as well. Um, but I don't know what, what it does to your skin. You do come back looking very um, healthy um, and I know that a lot of other people who have oily skin have used this and love it I've um, I know people who have dry skin they loved it I've got combinations good and I love it so maybe Stila is you know they know what they're talking about it's called a one-step correct maybe it is I have I think nearly finished the quarter of it but some days when I don't want to put any makeup on except for like moisturizer and then something on top then this is my go-to. It doesn't give you any coverage, but it just makes your skin look very perfected. Right, so the next thing that I want to mention is, again, one thing that I haven't used before 2020. Uh, and the only reason why, why I bought this is because I didn't want to wear um, foundations because obviously we weren't going out that much, but I still did want something on my face. Something that didn't make me look, that didn't make me look like 100 years old um, and, and, and was light and easy to apply and it's this so this is Fair Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream it has SPF 30 in it um, the colour I use in this is Vanilla 02 if you are looking for something which is a cross between like a really good primer and a tinted moisturizer then this is something that you will absolutely love this is it literally just blends into your skin it's really nice has a very light scent to it and you can hardly you can't even detect that on my hand it's that beautiful and again i have this on my skin at the moment with a primer only because i like layering um my only because i like layering products on my skin but this is a godsend uh, it does make your skin look even it does give you a very good finish and it stays on for a very long time sometimes you just need to if you're slightly oily in the t-zone like I am then maybe at the end of the day you might see some shine coming through here here and there but otherwise this is an absolute dream and I just use my fingers to put this on so again if you're traveling and you want something easy to use then this is definitely a product 
Then I actually have two foundations um, and these two are from the two different spectrums. So one is much cheaper, one is slightly higher. Um, and I will, again, because I've got so many different things to talk about, I'm gonna just talk, them, talk about them together. Um, and it's these two. So these are my two favorite, these are my two favorite ones that I use this year. Um, one is the Huda Beauty, Faux Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation. I have the color Macaroon 230N. And this one is the number seven Stay Perfect Foundation Non-Stop Complexion Perfection for Sensitive Skin. And the color I have in this is Warm Ivory. These two are, I wouldn't say complete opposites, but they give you the kind of finish you want. So if you want high coverage, will not budge, will look exactly like it did the minute you put it on, then the Huda Beauty one is, is for you. However, it has a very, very strong scent. Like, I mean, it's so strong that it almost feels like, a, like you're putting perfume on your face. Um, it does go away, but it doesn't go away completely. So if that's something that is a deal breaker for you, then maybe don't buy this. I have heard that the new foundations coming from Huda Beauty are slightly less fragranced. So I will try them, I haven't as yet. Um, but this one, I mean honestly, it's, it does not budge. It literally does not budge. Um, it smooths out your skin, it fills in the pores, it does give you like a filtered look. So if this is like the kind of look you look that you are looking for, <laughs> then definitely give this um, give this a try. And then the number seven one, I mean, it's available in Boots. It's a drugstore foundation. I had heard about this foundation for so long. It comes in a glass bottle, has a nice pump. Uh, it's a good size per foundation. It's 30 ml. The color range in the number seven is, I think, one of the best. They have God knows how many different um, color ranges. Like the color range is huge. So there's surely a color for you. Right, next, on to concealers. So I have two concealers here. Uh, one is high-end and one is drugstore. I was thinking of doing um, like a drugstore version and a high-end version, but then I thought no. <laughs> um, okay, so the first one is a high-end. So this is the Pat McGrath, uh, the Pat McGrath concealer. This is called, doo -doo -doo, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer and the colour I have is LM10. It's a beautiful concealer, it's in a glass bottle, it's very, very high coverage. Again, doe for applicator, nothing special there, but the coverage is so much. You literally need like a dot under your eyes. It's beautiful under the eyes, it does not crease, it's the, it literally stays. You do need to prep your under eyes really well. I have dry under eyes and also have dark circles, which is not the best. Um, but this completely counteracts this. And you can also use it around the face. It blends into the skin really nice and well because it's really creamy and gives really good coverage. And then on the drugstore side, I have one of my old firm favorites. I have bought this plenty of times. And this is again a new one. And this is a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, the color this is 15. Now they have come up with new colors. I used to use 10 and 20. Um, 10 under my eyes and 20 on the face. But then they came with 15, which was perfect. Um, and again, I think you probably know this by now. It's an amazing concealer. Works really well for all kinds of skin tones. Blends in like a dream. I have it on my face today. Um, you can build it up. It's a really good concealer. It stays on your skin for a long time. And it's an all rounder. So it is as good as on your face as it would be under your eyes. Coming on from that, I want to mention my face powder of choice. Uh, I have used quite a few face powders during the year. But the one that I used the most was this one from number seven. Um, as you can see, I have hit pan and I have gone to town on this. Um, the color I have is medium. Now it says medium dark finishing powder, but this in no way is dark. I mean, look, you can't even see it on my skin. So it's not dark, it's medium. Um, this is called, so, sorry, it's called the Airbrush Away 
uh, powder. It's very, very finely milled, which makes it so beautiful on the skin. Um, if you use this and this together, you are golden. Like literally, that is like wedding day makeup for you. It's a beautiful, beautiful compact powder. Um, it might be slightly bulky to carry, uh, but it does come with a mirror, which is nice. And you can use this, um, I actually use it sometimes with my finger as well, because it's so silky and so smooth. I just pat it around the nose like this, and you'll find you can use it with a brush, you can use it with a sponge. Um, it sets your makeup really well, uh, and because it's not a translucent powder, it adds that tiny, tiny, tiny amount of coverage, which is like, um, like an extra shield on your makeup um, to give it that perfected look. So definitely check this out if you haven't. They have, um, I believe, other powders as well, but this is one of the, their best sellers. Right, moving on to bronzers. Again, um, I have a high-end and I have, a, I, would, I would call it drugstore, but it's not really drugstore, it's like mid-range. Anyway, so for the high-end, uh, it has to be my Chanel bronzer. It's, I mean, I don't think I've had a single day where I did my makeup and did not use this. Um, it smells so nice. It is a cream bronzer. Uh, they have come out with a new formula and I think it has different colours. This, however, is the same original one. Uh, it is slightly grim and disgusting where it's got my, <laughs> my brush hairs in it, but I mean, can you really go wrong with this? No, you can't. You can't go wrong with this. It's, um, it is expensive, but you get loads for your, for what you pay, and you only need slight, like, the smallest amount. You can absolutely make this darker, you can build it up, but I think with, with this one, it almost feels like you can't go overboard, like, you can't overbronze your face because it's so natural and, and it blends into your skin, so that's beautiful. Um, I'm sure a lot of people know about this already. And then the other one, which is this, is from ASOS. This is the ASOS bronzer. And I, I'm a bit amazed how, how much I've actually used this. Like, it is, that is a big, big pan of makeup. It is, I would say, me, medium dark. Would I say medium dark? This, however, you can absolutely get overboard with because it's quite pigmented. I literally just touch my brush with this and use it on my face. Uh, the colour I have is called Bulletproof. I'm not sure if they've come up with new colours, um, but when I when I bought this, I think a year ago, maybe more, um, they only had two colours, so it was like Bulletproof, which was slightly lighter one, and I think another darker one, I'm not sure. Please don't quote me on this. But this one is so nice. It's really soft, it's really creamy, it's really pigmented. And you don't need a lot. You get a huge amount for what you pay for. And it's beautiful packaging. Slightly bulky for traveling, I have to say, but who's gonna travel anytime soon anyway? So um, yeah, please do check out the ASOS makeup. I also have, I think I also have something else from there range um which i do want to mention so we will talk about that now on to blush um again i've got a high end and i have a drugstore so for the drugstore one again asos i like this is like a huge blush but look at the color it's so beautiful so this color is called acceptance the reason why i like this color is if you look at it, it looks really, really dark, but actually when you apply it with a light hand, it's a beautiful, natural, pinky colour. Can you see that? It's so nice and it's absolutely buildable. You can make it slightly darker um, or you can just keep it very light and just dip your brush a little bit and put it on your cheekbones. Um, again, the texture of this is beautiful. They are very highly pigmented, exactly like their bronzer. Um, and they have loads of different colours. This is just the one I have and I absolutely love it and I, ha and I do use it a lot. And then on the high end, I have one of my favourites. I think I mentioned this last year, but I'm not sure. So I'll mention it again. Uh, and it's this. This is the MAC uh, Extra Dimension Blush in Cheeky Bits. I do have another one, which is I think called Faux faux something, I don't remember. Uh, but the reason why I like this one 
is because it's a beautiful shimmery peach color which looks great on all skin tones. If you have a slightly darker skin, skin tone, I think this would look absolutely beautiful on you. Um, it does, like, can you see the slight shimmer? It has a very slight shimmer. It's not like shimmery all over your face. It has a very slight shimmer, but the color is so, so beautiful. I think it's like a slightly darker version of the NARS Orgasm. I'm not sure, but it almost feels like it. And they are very, very creamy, so, um, yeah, it builds up really nicely and it stays put. Like, I'm trying to rub this off and it's not coming off. So, you know, just beware. Unfortunately, I don't have like a cheaper highlighter. Um, the two I have are high end. However, they are, one is slightly cheaper than the other. So just bear in mind. Um, one and also one is powder, one is cream. Anyway, and one is liquid, sorry. So the two one the two highlighters I have are one is from Dior and this is from Becca. Now this one was a travel one. So I have um, Opal in this one and in this one I have 01. Um, and this is the Dior Skin Nude Luminizer in 01. Zero one. Zero one. And that's what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. I almost don't want to use up the where it says nude. So I've literally just used this area to, <laughs> to use on my skin. And I'm such a loser. And then um, the Becca one, which is the liquid one, is called Opal. Um, I, I got this in a travel one where they give you like a mini liquid one and a mini powder one. I got this as a present last year for Christmas so, and I have cherished this very very much also although it doesn't look like I've, I've used a lot but I have used it a lot. Um, the Dior one is very it's more like a lit from within kind of um, highlighter. It is it does catch the light very very beautifully but when you're putting it on it just blends into your skin and it feels like the the glow is coming from within um, however with this one it's very bam in your face this is the highlighter hello so it's the reason why I, ha I like these two is because they do two very different things but very beautifully I've, I've, I've used quite a few palettes um, you know, everyone knows if by now, if, you, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm absolutely in love with the Smashbox palettes, palettes and I don't think I will fall out of love with them anytime soon. However, for this year, I want to mention something other than that and something that I did genuinely like and use. And um, yeah, it is this. Now... I apologize, it's not a cheap one. This is the Pat McGrath Lab, the Pat McGrath um, Mothership Sublime palette. This one is called, is called Golden Opulence. This is what it looks like. I did a whole different video with all of Pat McGrath's uh, products. Um, I mean, look, they're only six eyeshadows and it's a really bulky thing to use. Obviously, there is no traveling anytime soon, so I don't mind. It has a huge, huge mirror over here that you can use. But the colors that this gives you on your face, it is beautiful. I mean, they are pigmented. They are, they blend like a dream. I mean, I literally just touch them ever so slightly and look at my hand. It is covered in eyeshadow. If you want to if you want to use your savings uh, <laughs> for something for an eye palette then please do check this out it is expensive I know I understand and it is only six colors but they are big six colors and colors that you will use for a very long time because they are so high like they are so pigmented it is in right next on to mascaras mascaras um both of them are drugstore because i just thought why would i add a higher end mascara when let's be honest all of us love the drugstore ones and they're so good why wouldn't we so this one if you haven't but if you haven't seen this before or if you haven't tried this where the hell are you living like are you living under a rock Honestly, this one is 
This is the Essence Lash Prin Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes at the moment as well. And this is one coat, okay? It is one coat. This is bloody brilliant. Um, it is, so this is what the wand looks like. It's a fiber wand, it's not a plastic wand. It builds blue beautifully, it gives you length, so much length, my God. And then you can build up the volume. I. I cannot believe how cheap this is, honestly. I got it from Amazon, and I'm sure you can get it from Boots and everywhere else. And I have backups of this because I'm scared now that it's so famous, and this has become like the one in mascaras in drugstore, it's going to get out of stock. Second one is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstat Ecstatic Mascara. Um, everyone knows this is the dupe for, for the um, Better Than Sex Mascara from I want to say no Too Faced um, it is indeed the only one thing I don't like this about this is it dries up really quickly so once you do start using it please use it every single day otherwise it dries up however it is a beautiful mascara uh, for the for a fraction of the price of what you would have paid for Too Faced and it's yeah it's just really good it stay it, it really does does give you a lot of volume so if you just need volume and you don't mind not having the length then this is one for you it really does make your lashes look humongous right i just want to uh, mention a random one before we go on to lips um and this is a brush that i have been using for a very long time as you can see i have hooded eyes so sometimes um normal brushes for your crease are too big for me um, so I have to resort to slightly smaller brushes that improvise uh, when it comes to sizing and uh, because of that this is one that I absolutely fell in love with this is the Real Techniques base shadow brush now I understand some people might use this as a base so like over here but I just use it for my crease because it's beautiful on the crease it fits in perfectly it's a small, dainty, very well-weighted um, eyeshadow brush and the bristles that it has, it's tapered on the top and slightly fluffy. So it gives you like a really good way of blending everything in. And yeah, I've been using Real Techniques brushes for eight, for years anyway. And yeah, I think I found the one. You know what, it almost feels like, this is like the slightly stubbier version of the MAC 217. I almost feel like yeah it's like this is slightly shorter than that one and it's slightly thicker so I like this and the bristles are really really soft and it's easy to clean right on to lipstick um so uh, I'm gonna start with the pencil because I use lip pencils every day every single time I wear a lipstick I wear a lip pencil I can't help it that's just the way I am okay so um, this is from NYX this one is called Urban Cafe is the one I have on at the moment as well. It's a very, very dark brown one, but that's just the one I like. However, this is not for the color. This is for the actual product. NYX has a whole host of different kinds of uh, eye pencil, uh, lip pencils, but the one I like the most is this one. This one is called the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and def Definitely On. A turn on waterproof extreme color lip planner that is a very long name <laughs> next that is a very long, long name however I do agree it does stay on it is waterproof it is smudge proof um, and it gives like a really nice it's it's really nice and creamy as well so it's really nice to draw your onto your lips so do check them out if you can they have like a whole god knows how many colors I just only use brown colors so I'm just boring that I bought this instead. Um, lipstick. Again, two lipsticks, one high end, one drugstore. Um, if I give you two seconds, would you be able to guess which drugstore lipstick I like? Guessed it. It's the Revlon one. <laughs> so this is the Revlon Super Luscious Lustric, uh, Lustrous Lipstick. 
Uh, this color in particular is pink in the afternoon called 415. It's my one of my absolute favorites and for a reason because look how beautiful that is like the creaminess of this lipstick beautiful um, I'm sure you guys know this already I have loads of these and I've um, I have actually made a whole video doing lip swatches of these lipsticks and I am in love with them like literally they are beautiful 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 lipsticks and then on the high end I have fallen in love with a very dangerous <laughs> dangerous and uh, and it's Tom Ford it is Tom Ford guys I can't help it look how beautiful these lipsticks are just look at them they are bloody gorgeous um, this in color is called Indian Rose it's very similar to pink in the afternoon um, it just has a slightly browny purpley undertone to it this is pink in the afternoon this is the Tom Ford one these lipsticks are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They are moisturizing, they are lightweight, they are highly pigmented, they stay on their lips. Um, and even when at the end of the day they do slightly wear off, they leave like a stain on your lips so you don't walk away with just like a brown outline and nothing in between. That is my actual pet peeve. I absolutely hate that. Um, and these lipsticks don't do that at all. Absolutely not. So, yeah. Please do check them out if you can. You know what, especially the Revlon one. It's, I mean, you, you're, you, got, you guys are missing out. If you haven't, you're missing out. Okay, I need to calm down. Um, and then lastly, would it be any favorites video without me mentioning any perfumes? No, it would not. So here I am. My first one, Guerlain. I've nearly finished it. I have nearly finished this bad boy. Uh, yes, it has my name on the bottle in Arabic. Uh, it's because I got this from Dubai and they were doing like a special offer in Sephora where they would write your name on the bottle. So I would probably not want to throw this away, but I'll think about it. This one, oh my God. You know what? This smells like a very posh, rich, classy woman. So clearly nothing like me, <laughs> but at least I can smell like one. This is like such, oh my God, I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on. I wanna do it guys. Oh my God. It is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is the one which has, just, just check the, the lid because the lid is what is different. This is a rose gold lid, um, which is the one I have and they have like different other ones as well. And this is the Eau de Parfum, not the Eau de Toilette. And the last thing, finally, is another perfume. This is C from Giorgio Armani. This is the C Passion. And now this one is slightly, it's, I wouldn't call it completely different to that one. Um, it's slightly more, more floral, but still quite musky as well. Um, I like musky. I don't like very floral um, perfumes, but out of the two of them, the Guerlain one I like more. This one I have, um, I think, nearly, I've used like a quarter of it already. I think I have used it up to, oh no, I actually, I've used half of it, it's down to here. Uh, I have used half of it because I love perfumes. This one is slightly more grown up. I almost feel, it's like a, it's like slightly sweet and slightly, Less musky but more sweet, and the girl girl and one is musky and floral. So take a pick. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful perfume. Uh, it looks beautiful on my dressing table as well because it's nice and red. And that's it, guys. That was everything that I wanted to mention in my 2020 favorites. I hope you guys liked it. Please, please give me a big thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe because you know what? It's free. It's 2021. Just do a good deed, start the new year with something positive and subscribe to my channel, okay? Right, I have to go. I've had too many coffees. <laughs>